Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to learn the basic structure of microcontroller with ARM core processors. Let's get started. So basically we know that the microcontrollers are useful in small tiny sensor sensing application till the space satellites. So based on our application requirement we must be able to choose the microcontroller required. And if you take the microcontroller with ARM processor we will be having the ARM processor as the leading hardware component and in addition to that we will be having some controllers peripherals and finally we will be having buses for connecting all these things available over here. And these are the four main hardware components available in microcontrollers with ARM core processors. And here the ARM processor is the core element which is useful for processing the instructions and also for manipulating the data as per the instructions provided for the processor. So this is the basic structure of microcontroller with ARM processor and if you take this structure the ARM processor is further connected to interrupt controllers through buses and then the ARM processor is further connected to AHB arbiter which is a kind of bus available in this ARM processor. So AHB stands for advanced high performance bus and further this advanced high performance bus is connected to AHP to APB bridge. So here this bus is divided into two parts one as AHP and another one as APB bus. APB stands for ARM peripheral bus or advanced peripheral bus and further to this APB bus all the peripherals like USART, RTC, Ethernet, timers will be connected. And based on your requirement, you must be able to choose the peripherals which is connected to APB bus or AHP bus because the AHP bus will be operating at a higher frequency than APB bus. So if you want your system to be operating at a higher frequency or if you want a peripheral which must be operating at a higher frequency, you must be choosing the peripheral which is directly connected to AHP bus rather than APB bus. And directly to the AHP bus, the main high frequency peripherals will be connected like memory controller and AHP external bridge. So using this AHP external bridge, external memory elements like ROM flash memories can be directly accessed from our ARM processor. So this is the basic structure of microcontroller with inbuilt ARM processor. Now let's get in detail with the buses available in ARM processor. So basically there are only two kinds of devices available in the buses of ARM processor. One is the bus master and another one is the bus slave. So bus master is a logical device which is useful for initiating the data transfer. But in contrast the bus slave is only capable of responding to the request from the bus master and for transferring the data requested from the bus master. And the different kinds of buses available in the ARM process are AMBA which is Advanced Microcontroller Bus Architecture, ASB ARM System Bus, APB as we discussed ARM Peripheral Bus, AHB which is nothing but ARM High Performance Bus and further these two buses APB and AHB are also called as Advanced Peripheral Bus and advanced high performance bus. So these are the basic buses available in ARM processors and most widely nowadays we are having this APB and AHP buses in most of the microcontroller. And let's take the memory controller. So memory controllers are elements which is useful for connecting different kinds of memories to the ARM processor. Basically, it connects different types of memories to the processor. For example, when the power is turned on, the memory controller may be configured in hardware to allow certain memory devices to be active. These memory devices allow the initialization code to be executed. Some memory devices must be set up in software. For example, DRAM, that is data RAM, 
For it, we have to set up the memory timing and refresh rate in software before it can be accessed by the ARM processor. And next one is the interrupt controller. So it is a very important hardware component available in this ARM processor based microcontroller. So it determines which peripheral can access the processor at the specified time, which means it will be providing the authority to all the peripherals at which time which peripheral can access the ARM processor. Actually, it is the very important controller available in the ARM processor based microcontroller which will be executing the instructions based on the priority of the peripherals. And that's it for today. So I hope you understood the basic structure of microcontroller with ARM processor core and also the basic buses available in the ARM processor. So see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.